Hi friends, Mindy here. I have an unboxing for you today. This is the newest kit from By the Wolf for God. It's called Overflowing. This is the November kit. Uh, at the time that I am recording this unboxing, there are still some kits available, but I do know that they have been selling out pretty quickly. I will put my affiliate link down below if you are interested in using that. For those of you who have used that in the past, I do appreciate that. It just really um, helps me out. But I'm just going to jump in because there is a lot to go through. So um, the first thing, as always, is the goodie bag. You always get a goodie bag when you order from By the Well. And um, what you get in it kind of varies depending on your order. And I don't really want to um, take away the fun of the surprise, so I'm just going to kind of hold it like this. But one of the things to note on this thank you card that's in here is there's always a hashtag for each month's kit. So be sure if you're posting on social media to use this hashtag. That way we can um, find your posts. And also you can follow along. You can follow that hashtag as well on Instagram and see what everyone else is up to. It's just a fun way to kind of be in community with each other. There's also some information about how to sign up for the email list from By the Well for God. And that's a really good thing to do, especially if you like early notifications. Um, they always send out an email the morning of the kit release. So you can kind of see everything in there and then any restocks and stuff that they do, they always send an email. So be sure that you sign up for that email as well. And there's a little synopsis of this kit. And then there's also a little sneak peek on the back um, for next month's kit. So that's the only little sneak peek I'm going to show you because I think it's fun you, whenever you get your kit from By the Wolf of God or anything really. Um, it's always very lovingly packaged and prayed over and everything. So um, it's like opening a gift every month. So anyway, I'm going to get started with the kit. Again, this is called Overflowing. And your kit always will come in a canvas drawstring bag. And I am going to actually just pull out the devotional this month as we head into um, November. There's a lot of gratitude um, projects and things. Um, just a time to really reflect and be for what we have to be thankful for. And the focus of this devotional is actually kind of about the abundance of God and not just the things that we have to be thankful for. Of course, we are thankful for all of those things, but really um, being thankful for the, his nature. And so there's another um, project, which I'll get to in a moment. But um, so that is what this devotional is all about. And as always, it's just it's packed with scripture and everything. And so this is just going to be a really good study talking about the nature of God. I'm really excited to dig into that. And then I'm going to pull everything else out from the kit here. You always get a flare button here. This one says overflowing. A lot of times if I'm working in a journal, I will put those on there. I know some people um, do varying things with this. You can even make a magnet out of them or I have my other ones just kind of in a collection. But you always get a flare pin. You also get a bow clip here that's got like one of the main verses and then two little bow clips on here that coordinate the fabrics coordinate with the kit and then um, I'm going to save the ephemera. Um, this is the stamp set for the kit so you have like this chair. I love these stacks of books and these cute little pumpkins and then on the back they kind of give you an idea for how you can color those. That is the stamps that come with the kit. You also get a watercolor dot card. This is something that's really unique to buy the well for God. These are Daniel Smith watercolors. These are artist grade. So a little bit goes a long way. If you've watched any of Lori's lives, she always tells you kind of use some packaging or something to um, to kind of pull the pigment off and use as a, as a palette. I like to use an acrylic block to do that um, because this, it doesn't seem like it's a lot of... Um, paint but this really will go quite a long ways so and there are six colors this month on there and then um, they started packaging these all together which I really like with this backer on it and save your packaging because you can also use that backer for all kinds of things a couple things got stuck in there so there's always a kit sticker this is just on white sticker paper it's not a vinyl sticker um, I use these, Some I know some people will put them like in the front of their Bible to indicate that this kit was worked in 
in that particular Bible. I've used them on the fronts of journals that I've made. I know people put them on their craft carts. There's a lot you can do with those as well. And then you get three journaling cards that have different verses on the front and then they're aligned on the back. You can use them as tip-ins. Sometimes I'll create pockets out of them, just kind of depends. I know some people even will cut them apart for the images, you know, lots of things that you can do. And they've recently, in the last couple of months, started using two sheets of stickers instead of the three smaller ones. And um, you get the same amount of stickers and everything. It's just now packaged on these two sheets. So you have some faux washi, and then you have the pumpkins and the apples and the florals on there as well. I love these ones with these like flannel blankets on there. So, and then you have the word abundant and overflowing. And as a fun side note, um, you can also get the little by the will for God truck off of there too, because they cut that out as well. These are on clear sticker paper. Then you get an alpha and numerical set. Um, these are not clear sticker paper, these are white. So these are opaque. Um, but these have the little, I don't know if you can see, the little pumpkin pattern on there. So again, these are white stickers and the numbers. And this is the backer that I was saying. You can cut tabs out of this. You could use this even as a focal point on, you know, if you work in a um, smaller margin Bible and you need to maybe cover up some um, bleed through or something, you can just cut a strip of this and glue it right into your Bible. So um, they always try to make everything that they do really useful. And so don't, don't throw that away because you can actually use that for a lot of different things. And then last but not least is the ephemera set. There are 22 ephemera pieces in this one. I'm gonna open it up, sorry for the noise. Lori always likes to include um, a texture in each of these. And so this time there is this like baker's twine, super cute. I'm going to go through here kind of quickly. There's a lot of apples. I love this one with the folded blankets on it and then some different pumpkins. And one of the things I love about this kit, I think I was off frame, I'm sorry, um, is the addition of the kind of blue, kind of the slate, like the grayish kind of blue in there. I just really like that, even with the pumpkins. So, and those wheelbarrow, so sweet. So I really like the imagery this month. Very fall. I know everybody says they love fall. I really love fall. Little watering can. I love this one. That for me would be coffee though, not tea, but super cute. Cute pumpkins. So that is all of the ephemera in the ephemera kit. So that makes up essentially the main kit. Um, and it really is everything that you need to work through this devotional for the month with the exception of a pen and maybe an ink pad if you're gonna do some stamping and um, a paintbrush if you wanna do some watercoloring. So it really does have everything that you need. I'm gonna set this off to the side because there's still a lot to go through. So every month when they release their kit, they also release five stamp sets that coordinate. And um, so you can get these during the initial release at a discounted price. So if you buy one, you can get them at $12. If you buy um, more than one, then they're $10. So um, they're normally 15. So it can be quite a savings, especially if you're gonna get all, all five of them. So this set here is called Pointing to Grace. And it's got that same like wagon. And then all of these little words that fit in this sign. I love this. So cute and really versatile, I think, too. And then there's some ideas here on the back for how you can color that. This one is called Hold Your Hand. These are a bunch of tickets. They've done another set of tickets in the past, and these are just always really popular. Just really, really versatile for, yours, um, for your Bible journaling. And then this one is Extravagant Texture. I love this stamp set. I'm so excited about it. The font is really great. And then um, it has like the like definitions of words in it. I don't know if you can see, but like here is abundant. And then there's the definition of it. This probably is my favorite stamp that they've ever released, honestly. I, I love it. I can see me using that all the time. This one is called Giving is Only Begun. And you have these kind of um, 
things, the little like wheelbarrow in this tub that you can fill with other things. You can kind of see here on the background. And then they have a stamp set called Abundant Pardon, again, where you have kind of these. And I think with a little bit of masking, you could probably fit these, like the flowers and the pumpkins and the apples, in probably any one of these vessels. I haven't tried it yet, but I kind of have a sneaking suspicion that will work. So, so these are the five stamp sets that are available um, that coordinate with the kit this month. I'm going to set those off to the side. And then, as always, um, they have some flashcard sets. This month they have two. And um, these are kind of done with an ombre. I don't know if you can kind of see. And then even the cards. Let me just open this one up. I'm not going to open it all the way, but you can kind of see. But see how even the backer on this one you could use for something. But these are kind of blues and greens in here. And um, the good thing about these is if you wanted to get both sets, the, the words are different. And both sets will cover the entire devotional. So there's scriptures from, um, the, from the devotional in each of these. I like to pair them up with the day before I actually work through the devotional. It just helps me. Um, and so they try to make sure that those are, are varied and the words don't repeat. And so you will you can use every bit of both of these if you do get both sets. I'm going to set that off to the side over here. Um, another very popular item, one of the things I always love are the journaling cards. There are 12 in, um, so you have four different colorways in um, three of each. And they say on them, living sacrifice, offer praise, share, do good to serve. And then um, these are, it's acts of worship here. And then on the back, if you wanted to just use it as a journaling card, you can do that as well. And they're just lined on the back. There's um, also the set of labels. These are called the provision labels. There are five of these. I'm trying to get other, there we go. There are five colors. And each one has like a dot grid and then just a regular grid and then lines. These are really popular. I think she said they go out in pretty much every order. Um, but they, um, they're good for just labels. And if you want to put titles or layering pieces, these are just really a versatile um, item. And then there are the little tile alphas. There are five of these as well. And the different colors that coordinate with the kit. And then there is a set of clear alphas. And there are actually seven of these. And these, this time, they kind of did patterns um, on several of them. Usually, you just have the one pattern. but um, So this is that same pattern that you get in the kit but this one is these are clear stickers and then there's a little apple i don't know if you can see there's a little apple and then this has the floral and then these three or these four are just the coordinating colors so those are really fun so there's seven sheets of those these go a long ways as well they also release two stencils this one is called abundant vines you can see the vines on there. And this one is pumpkin lace. These will just make really good, interesting backgrounds. I think this would be fun with texture paste. So this is gonna be a lot of fun to work with. And again, with the backers, you could use these to make tabs and stuff as well. Put those over here. And then they also released two sets of traveler's notebooks. My set was set two, I believe. My, uh, this one has the apples and then this wood grain. And I think the other one had, I think the other one had pumpkins, but, um, on the inside, there's these cute little apples. And then on the inside of the wood grain, it's on there as well. I love their traveler's notebooks. They're great to work through. The paper quality is good because it's the same paper quality that they use for their, um, devotionals. So they, it's just really good. You can do a lot with these. I've used them as, you know, to work in instead of working in my Bible. Um, they're, so I, I actually, their traveler's notebooks are one of my favorite things. And then last but not least for coordinating things are the papers. So you get 24 sheets of paper, double-sided. So you um, get three each. So you have, what, they're kind of, what they've kind of been doing lately is they'll have kind of, you know, the pattern on the front and then they're uh, like a more subtle on the back. So this is the apples and the wood grain. And then you have the leaves and then just kind of a neutral green. 
I love these birds as well. And then kind of a denim. And there's, I don't know if you can see in the background there, there's kind of like a print in there. That's really fun. I love the plaid one. I love it. And then this kind of just red neutral. It's not like just a plain, you know, color. There's obviously you can see just shading and stuff to it, but just really, really good. And then the pumpkins. And then this looks like um, fabric on the back. And then I love this one. I think this one is just pretty awesome. I would think I would like to use it just as it is um, without cutting it up or anything. And then kind of a wonky plaid in the back. And then the sunflower, I guess it's sunflowers. And then the yellow. And there's kind of like a damask kind of in the back. And then I love this one as well. I just love the colors of that. And this too, I don't know. I could use a pack probably of just this paper, but I love the texture of this one as well. And Lori mentioned in her live that you could probably stamp some of those like the galvanized bucket and that kind of stuff on here and just get a really good look to that if you didn't want to have to try to emboss that or whatever. So that is the paper and it comes in a six by eight size. That's what this is, but you can also get it in a six by six if you prefer that size. I personally prefer the six by eight, um, but you can get it in six by six as well. And this month they um, released a tag bob kit. Now I think, I think these have all sold out, um, if I remember correctly. But what they are offering is the um, the list of prompts is on it's on their website, so you can go on there. You kind of have to go through the process like you're purchasing it, but it'll say zero dollars, um, and you can get there's a list of the prompts and the scriptures that coordinate. And so if you have your own tags or you can make your own, um, you can definitely use what you have to go through this process as well. Um, and just create your own little tag ring. But there is this tag bob kit that comes with the tags and the little um, hole reinforcers and then the prompts. And then a bunch of different fibers in there. And then, of course, um, the ring. But like I said, if you um, if you have your own, you know, tags or whatever, or even if you didn't want to do it in tags, they, the prompt list is still available to you for free. So you can still join in even if you were not able to get one of these um tag bob kits. I know they, I believe they did sell out pretty quickly. Um, and I think they even went back and remade some, and then I think those sold out too. So, um, just with time constraints, I don't think they could make any more, but they, they did make the, um, prompt list available. And then one of the other items that they did this month were the fabric. So they had, um, the two packs of fabric again, and there are actually four, so each one will have this kind of melon colored one that has that definition on there, which I love. And then there's four patterns. So um, I actually purchased a second one because I have some ideas for some journals that I want to make. And I just loved these two fabrics. I couldn't really choose between the two of them. So um, I got I got both. So those are two of the four styles of fabrics. And when you order a fabric, you just get whatever is next in queue. So if you wanted to get all four fabrics, you, you know, you're not going to get a repeat if you order more than one. So, and then one of the really neat things that they're doing, oh, sorry, <laughs> apologize. <laughs> things are falling. Um, one of the neat things that they wanted to do this month, if you watched Lori's live, is um, because October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, they wanted to... Um, honor a, a friend and her name is Tanya and she passed away early on this year and I know per personally for me when I was first starting my YouTube channel actually she was really very encouraging to me and um, I don't think I you know had the chance to know her as much as some of the other girls but she was just very precious and her testimony is so unique and special and how she went through her treatments and how she would give out um these um, blessing bags and so in one of the things that um, Lori did for people that ordered I think it was more than $75 on the first day of release they um, gave these instead of the doing the over 300 order um, and so this is a pocket bible with some special fabrics and things in it and then you know kind of with the intention that to use this as a witnessing tool because that is um, 
kind of Tanya's legacy. And so I know, you know, there are so many of us, our lives have been um, touched by someone, a friend, a family member, whatever, who um, had breast cancer. I know um, I lost my mom to breast cancer. And so I, I kind of, you know, could understand her struggle um, as she was going through her treatments and stuff. And so I just think this is a really unique way to honor it. And I'm showing it because you'll probably see um, people with these Bibles or creating things with them. I'll, I might do a video of how I choose to decorate this one. Um, but this is just, I just wanted to make mention of it because um, I just think this is such a neat way to honor um, a friend who is just really precious part of our community. So that is the um, Bible kit is also why they, you know, they did this in place of the, uh, extra goodie for the over the 300 order, um, on the first day. So, um, I just wanted to just show that really quickly. And then, um, a couple other things I did actually pick up the coordinating Bible as well. So they did create a, again, a, the pocket journaling Bible kit that actually coordinates with overflowing. So I picked up one of those as well. If you've seen my channel, you know, I love to make these. I like to put sermon notes in them or give them away, or, um, these are just, they're so fun. They're just a great project. I really enjoy doing them. And then I picked up a couple other things from the shop that I just thought I would share because you may not know that by the well for God offers them. So one of them are these dyeable muslin sheets. They were, they had these for a little bit and then they sold out and they have these back in the shop now, I believe. So there are six sheets of muslin that are six by six and you can dye this in multiple ways. Um, so I picked up some of that. I just thought I would share that. And then another thing, and this may seem silly, but, um, is this bag of bags and inside here, there are like vellum bags, um, like coin envelopes, just a variety of bags in here. And I like to use those, um, in my journals that I create, they just make really good pockets and tuck spots and things. And so these are in the shop as well. So, um, I think that's everything. I hope I didn't miss anything. Um, as always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comment section below. If you like this video, I would appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up. That just helps other people find my channel as well. Subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, bye.